the differences between astaxanthin and spirulina. So we all know the health benefits of spirulina, but as a scientist and the founder of spirulina, can you explain just why people should be taking this every single day? Well, I think the most important thing about spirulina to remember is that just one serving, one heaping teaspoon or, or uh, six 500 milligram tablets contain all the phytonutrients that are contained in five servings of fruits or vegetables. Uh, in addition, spirulina contains a uh, very rich amount of carotenoids, beta carotene, zeaxanthin. It also contains a very unique pigment called phycocyanin. This is why spirulina is called a blue-green algae because of this blue pigment. Phycocyanin has been shown to protect both the liver and kidney from toxins. In addition, spirulina contains antiviral compounds as well as immune stimulating compounds. So people taking spirulina don't get sick as often. They also have more energy. Spirulina gives people energy. Absolutely. And could you tell me, um, like when is it safe for, or when would you recommend parents to start giving it to their children? Well, I, I would certainly say children uh, don't like to eat fruits and vegetables, or certainly not vegetables. But I, I would recommend somewhere around between two and three, maybe a half oh, a really? gram to okay. a gram. So okay. um, that, that's a good place to start. And uh, then as they become teenagers, certainly uh, at least three grams would be, be very recommended. And the Hawaiian Pacifica spirulina has such a beautiful flavor. It's not like some of the others, perhaps. Um, the Hawaiian Pacifica spirulina tastes great. And you can put it into smoothies mm -hmm. or juices. Uh, I personally sprinkle it over vegetables and salads, add it to salad dressings mm -hmm. and things. So it's not something that if people don't want to take tablets, mm -hmm. you have them both, tablets and powder, which is fantastic. Um, they have their choice. What about elderly people, you know, like being able to be easily digestible? Is that beneficial yeah, oh, for them? Spirulina is wonderful for elderly people. Mm -hmm. First of all, as you mentioned, it's very digestible. The spirulina algae itself really doesn't contain any cellulose in the cell wall, so it's completely digestible. Mm -hmm. We actually, Cyanotech, sponsored a clinical study at University of California, Davis, uh, with elderly patients showing that it actually uh, improve their immune system. As people get older, their immune system mm -hmm. tends to, to work as much. It's yes. called immunosenescence. Uh, taking spirulina increased the function of the immune system in elderly people, and it also helped prevent anemia. So it's a wonderful thing for people to take as they, they So it's really rich in iron and proteins yeah. and yes. so many benefits to being healthy. And if you were just listening to what Jerry said, people who take spirulina don't get sick as often, and that's Jim and I.